Welcome to our comprehensive guide on the 444 video format, an essential concept for both aspiring and professional videographers. Today, we're diving deep into what makes this format unique and why it's important in the world of video production. Imagine your video as a series of images, each made up of pixels. For example, in this image, we see a magnified view of what pixels look like up close. Each square represents a single pixel, a building block of the image. The areas I'm pointing to here, here, and here highlight individual pixels. Each pixel contains two types of information luminance and chrominance. Luminance, denoted as Y, is the brightness or the black and white information. Chrominance, represented by CB and CR, carries the color information. Here, CB stands for chroma blue. It's the difference between the blue part of an RGB image and a reference value. This reference is typically a gray value that has equal amounts of red, green, and blue. The CB value indicates how much blue is present compared to this neutral gray. CR stands for chroma red. It's the difference between the red part of an RGB image and the same reference value. The CR value shows how much red is in a color compared to the neutral gray. The reference value acts as a neutral or zero point. When the color in the image is exactly the same as this neutral gray, CB, and CR values are at zero, indicating no excess of blue or red. As the color deviates towards blue or red, the CB and CR values change accordingly, indicating the strength and direction of that deviation. First, let's break down what 444 means. This term refers to a type of chroma subsampling, a process used in the compression of video signals. Chroma subsampling is about reducing the color information in a video to make the file size smaller, which is crucial for storage and broadcasting. The initial 4 in the 444 format represents the sampling rate for luminance information. Luminance denoted as Y is the brightness or the black and white part of the image. In this context, the 4 signifies that the luminance is sampled at full resolution with every pixel's luminance information being recorded. The second four in the 444 sequence relates to the chrominance sampling for the first color channel. In this format, the four indicates that the chrominance for the first color channel is sampled at the same rate as luminance, meaning that for every four pixels of luminance, there are also four pixels of chrominance information for this color channel. Similarly, the third four corresponds to the chrominance sampling for the second color channel. This four also means that the chrominance for this second color channel is sampled at the same rate as the luminance, meaning that here also for every four pixels of luminance, we have four pixels of chrominance information for this second color channel. In summary, on the left, there is a grayscale image labeled Y, which represents the Luma component or brightness levels of the YCBCR color space. In YCBCR, Y stands for the luminance part of the image and is typically represented in shades of gray, where each shade corresponds to the brightness of the color in the original image. In the middle, there are two color grids labeled CB and CR, which represent the chrominance components. CB represents the blue difference chroma component and CR represents the red difference chroma component. These components carry the color information of the image and are often displayed with a color tint for illustration purposes. On the right, the combination of the Y, CB, and CR components forms the full color Y, CB, CR image. When the luminance and chrominance components are combined, they produce a complete color image as perceived by the human eye. Why is this important? The 444 format is known for its high fidelity and is often used in professional settings where color accuracy and detail are paramount, such as in movie production, graphic design, 
and high-end video editing. This format preserves the most color detail, making it ideal for green screen work, detailed color grading, and visual effects where precision is key. However, it's important to note that 444 files are larger compared to more compressed formats like 422 or 420. This means they require more storage space and have higher bandwidth requirements for streaming or broadcasting. This is why 444 is less common in consumer level applications. Now, how do you work with 444 video? First, ensure your camera or video source can record in this format. Then, be mindful of the storage and bandwidth requirements. High capacity storage and fast transfer speeds are essential. When editing, use software that supports 444 color space to maintain the quality throughout your workflow. In summary, the 444 video format is all about maximum color detail and precision, ideal for high-end video production, where quality is non-negotiable. While it comes with a trade-off of larger file sizes, the resulting video quality is unmatched, making it a top choice for professionals in the field.